Hello everyone, I am your host Warrior Angel and welcome back to this Knights of St. John Let's Play for Empire Total War Darth Mod. Before I carry on with the battle, I just got a couple of things I wanted to bring up. First of all guys, have a good Easter weekend. It's Good Friday at the moment, but have a good Easter weekend, whether it's your opportunity to eat Easter eggs until you feel sick, if you're doing it for enjoying it for religious purposes, or even just to enjoy a four day work week. Well, four day weekend. Whatever your reason is, I hope you enjoy your weekend. Right? I know I'm certainly planning to. Which ties into the second thing I wanted to bring up. As you probably guessed, um, today's not Monday, it's Friday. And yet this is coming up now and being made today. The reason why I didn't get around to recording this on Monday is because of my college placement. The workload this week was so intense that I actually had to do a all, all, complete all-nighter on Monday just to try and get back up to scratch and even then I still had bits and pieces to do I still got more stuff to do over the Easter break but at least I get to enjoy a few days off and it gives me some time to actually sort of clear things up a bit so yeah I didn't have time to do any recording this week up until really today because I was busy yesterday catching up with friends on that but yeah, I decided to just make a big thing about it today. So you not only get this, but you also get Child of Light from Wednesday, and you get Five Quiet Chronicles. And yeah, I hope that so today is a big upload day for me. Woohoo! Hey, and finally, I just wanted to thank a couple of people for your comments, which have really helped out. Uh, I can't remember if I actually thanked you guys yet already. I've got I've just been taking pictures of my phone of people. Uh, I know about two weeks ago I asked people about where how can I actually build an Admiralty because I need that to get better docks but unfortunately I can't build them anywhere. Thing And James Gast and Joseph Yeager you both mentioned to me that you can build them in their capital thing, or in my capital and other major cities. So uh, if I remember right though I did check over in Madrid last turn, last episode and I did see that they have access to an Admiral tweet there which is a good place to go for and although it's a shame that Rome and, and that hasn't got access but what can you do but yeah I'm happy about that so um, thank you for telling me guys about that the other person and I've just got them on my phone I'm just rushing through oh, why is my phone playing up uh, Mark sorry Mark uh, I'm going to probably Fudge your last name, Jeru. But Mark, uh, you answered my second question about why is it that I got a trade going to Malta, but I haven't got any trade routes. Like uh, if you see in the middle, but here between the two barrel screens, you can see Austria's for, uh, ports outside Venice. I've got trade routes coming up and branching together and going off, and yet none of my ports are like that. Uh, you suggested it could be well, my capital is. You can only trade if both either my tra capital is connected by land, so at least one commercial port, or share land borders with another nation. My route is not blocked, and any non capital province can only trade if it has a commercial port or a neighboring province as a commercial port. So, you did also mention as well, I had to look around, and yeah, so most of my ports are commercial. I think the only one it isn't is the one for southern Italy. But I did mention as well, it's because I haven't got any tradable goods in the provinces. So I need to see about either doing something like Russian furs or what have you, or go over to Af America in order to try and capture trade from there. So I have a feeling I will be taking an army up there in the future to deal with them. Anyway, that's the announcement. But thank you for all you guys for helping out with questions. I think it is appreciated. And yeah, thank you very much for that. Thank you. So back to this now, as you can see we've got a battle in front of us and we didn't have a battle, I remember last time, so we're going to make up for it to now. And to be honest, I don't think this is going to be as difficult as the balance bar seems to make it out. I did do an auto resolve just to check out and see so I can get and check and see whether or not I had commercial ports in my regions or not. And I actually lost quite badly according to the auto resolve. Now I don't know how that is the case, uh, I got a walled settlement loads of um, line infantry and a quite a few units of uh, armed assistance and re. Not the most accurate in comparison, nearly half as bad, but they've got firepower and nothing else. And against the Spanish force. Now the thing is, you look at it and you think, right, they've got just maybe two-thirds of one unit of line infantry there. Um, another just over half of one there. They got a nearly a full one here. They got some elite infantry and some militia. 
militia. And the thing is that they've got mainly these horsemen. Now horsemen are not going to be really any good in a siege battle if they can't get into the center. So as long as they can hold the wall from the enemy, I think I can pretty much win this. So let's go and start the attack and fight this out on the battlefield. What have we got here? Mad is he? Then I hope that he will bite some of my other generals. George III, King of Great Britain, speaking of General Wolfe. I have to admit, the more I've been playing Empire Total War, is the more I realize my knowledge of so for, you know events that happened during this era is pretty lacking. Like I know of some of the kings and stuff like that of Britain mainly. I, after all, I am British, so I'm probably I'm more familiar with that just offhand from our from history lessons. But I started to slowly get more and more interested in different in different aspects of the history, and especially just I I know it's a not exactly straight history if you follow things like officially Devon's Sea News of War, but just getting a more historical grasp of the era is getting more and more interesting. I have to admit. Thing, and I need to start looking up a little bit more in the future when I have time. Um. Anyway, back to this. Uh, let me see. I'm pretty happy with the deployment, to be honest. I know the enemy is going to deploy somewhere around here. So I'll keep these guys here just on the off chance. Although, I would prefer to stick you guys here. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't really need, you see, to have so many people here. What? Uh, yeah, we'll keep, actually. Let's keep you guys down here for the moment. Let's keep you guys deployed. Like so. Uh, you guys shuffle over a tiny bit so we can get access to all the cannons. There we go. And there we go. Well, I think this will allow me to pretty much hold the top bit pretty well. Actually, let's take you. Can I condense you a little bit better? No, I can't. It's okay. We'll just keep it down here as a reserve. And I'll keep you guys just on the off chance. But let's get it going. Reinforcements have arrived. Excellent. I do wish that the reinforcements were a little bit more randomized, really. Just so, like, it would be nice to have that thing of when do you think the reinforcements will arrive in the battle not knowing that they're going to be arriving pretty much as soon as they get and turn up on the thing okay so here's my two units of horse we're going to put you guys into a group straight away get into group four and start deciding what we're going to hack our way through we've got um these are the heavy horsemen if i remember right and agadir scouts I don't entirely sure who's the bodyguard actually. I'll tell you what, we'll start bringing the, them up slowly. I'm just going to allow my troops then to just defend the walls really. In fact, I think that's pretty much the basis of the whole battlefield. Battle. The horse look at them and are going to not do them any good unless they can get capture a gate. And I feel pretty secure about my units being to hold it hold in order to defend against any gate attacks. Especially if they're not willing to use their horseman thing, I could get away with this. That's it, come to Papa. Say what? About turn and charge. What's one of my units doing out here? Good, we managed to shatter that big uh, one of their big units here. That's good news. Alright. Let's see if we can help out a little bit against them over here now. Just in case.
Alright, well that's happening, let's see. You guys are starting to come up on the walls, but militia against my line infantry. Thing, I'm pretty confident, and you're already starting to suffer casualties as it is. Nothing else there is good. These guys are already broken. I'm severely, I'm seriously wondering now, why is it that I've already lost in the first place? Go after the scouts. Getting tired of them. Okay, I want to try and zoom in. Can I see if they've got any... Oh, they do have, um... Bayonets. Bummer. That's no, okay though. Have you guys caught up with these yet? How could you be losing slightly against the unit you outnumber? Well, you do have to do that, brother. Tell you what, man, get back in here. Oh, all my horsemen, you can guys can all get in. Not my men, just to finish them off. Yeah, you want to try and make it up, guys? You want to try? Just try me. Oh god, sakes, man, it's not that difficult. If I tell you to get inside the thing, get inside. No, don't run away. Just get in. Like I told you to do. No, get in. Good man. You finally listen to orders when I tell you to. Okay, I think this is pretty much it. The end of it, really. The enemy have no infantry that can actually get into my wall now. The only thing they got left is cavalry. And not the same thing, but I reckon I could take these cavalry on pretty easily. In fact, let's just fast forward the bow just slightly and see what happens. For a second. No? Oh, do you have these guys fighting? Oh, got militia on the walls. Okay, tell you what, man, you get over here and help out. Oh, oh come on, guy, get glitchy there, she's like, don't know. <laughs> Come on, get them in. Slaughter them all. <laughs> Okay, I don't think these militia are going to be coming back anytime soon. Alright. Speaking of troops now, what we're going to do... If Buddha's not going to come to the mountain, then the mountain must come to Buddha. So in this case, we're going to get my men to move down. Fast forward the, tr the battle again, so we can get them down. It's a shame that so many of my troops have decided that the quickest way to get down is to go down the ropes one by one rather than actually just march through the gates. But... Oh. Okay, close victory, that works. Hmm. It was by the sober sense of our citizens that we were safely and steadily conducted from monarchy to republicanism. 
Okay, so I actually won the victory. I only it took 322 casualties. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure how I took that many casualties, to be honest with you. Uh, these guys took 135. I think that was the unit that got attacked by the militia and melee. So I think that was why I took the most, more casualties than I should have done. But now I'm going to have to go down and hunt that Spanish ar <laughs> army. Otherwise it's going to just be spending its time raiding my settlements. And I don't want that. Or worse, am I trying to attack Naples and capture it? Oh, all the things to do. And we've still got the plan then of trying to deal with basically all of the main powers of Western Europe. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one having problems like this. Um, who was it that... Uh, when you guys did comment on one of the other page... One of the previous video, I think it was. I can't remember who what your name was, I'm afraid. But you did mention about how I'm not the only one with the situation here. He's... Yeah, like you've got basically everyone but Prussia or something like that helping you out. So, <laughs> fame. So, good luck to you, mate. Okay, uh, enemy enemy Jin does be captured. He has invaded capture. That's okay. What was I doing with you now? Uh, this was my wake. Oh yeah, I was sending him to Paris because I wanted to see what they had for whether or not I can get an admiralty here. And the answer is yes. They have actually upgraded to level two as well. Okay, so France could be a possible target for the future. Hmm. Alright, I guess I've got Spain here. We're still at war with Westphalia. United Provinces we're at peace with. Austria is pretty much at war. And we've currently got, um, Württemberg. And. What the hell? This is. The Cherokee Nations have bought land in, West, in mainstream Europe. Wow. When did that happen? <laughs> Just like, wow. Um, yeah, that's a thing. Okay. And uh, they managed to catch a Strasbourg. Oh, and uh, now I'm going at s slow frames per second again. Oh, God's sake. I have a feeling this happens doing it just because of the end turn phase. It's so annoying. So, hang on guys, I'm going to be back in a second and see if we can sort this out. Okay, finally that was sorted out anyway. Ugh, I hate it when the computer does that. And it really only seems to be for Empire Total War. Most of the other games work fine. There's only really this one as has the hiccups. Anyway, let's try and sort this out. I want to deal with this army here now, because otherwise they'll be free to really attack Naples, or just raid any of my areas down here, and I don't particularly want that. So, let's bring up my army. I'm going to bring these guys. Avanti, join up here. Marcha. You guys Signorsi. eventually join up, and head down and attack this. Zoom down. Okay. So I feel pretty comfortable. Oh, they still got mainly h horsemen compared to and uh, basic infantry compared to my somewhat equal or even better infantry. Uh, I also have 12 pounders, which is also good. And what's the thing about these guys? 14, 15, 20, and 10. 14, 15. Hang on a second. 14, 15, 20, and 10. 14, 15, 20, and 10. So their heavy horsemen actually got. Bet slightly better morale and a slightly better melee defense, but their melee def def attack is a lot less than mine. Hmm. Anyway, guys, let's fight this out on the battlefield and see how it goes. Hmm. Soldiers generally win battles, generals get credit for them. Napoleon Bonaparte. I have a feeling though this is the uh, fake Bonac part. If any of you guys have been following Tinia Truth on Officially Devon's channel, you know what I'm talking about. Thing. It's, I still can't believe he's pulling it off. Everything. It's an hilarious TV, you know, sort of YouTube series. It's probably one of the funniest I've seen in a while. And so fa I fell off to him, and just the fact that he's willing to make music, sing, and music for it. Wow. Just <laughs> wow. Ugh. Come on, load up the screen. Let's get this battle going. I want to eliminate the Spanish. Come on. 
Come on. <laughs> okay, well, what I mean for this? Uh, what was the other thing I wanted to bring up? Because which has happened since our last made a video thing. Uh, oh yeah, who enjoyed the Ides of March release for Total War Warhammer? Were you? Did you enjoy it, or were you like me, just a bit disappointed, really, with what happened? I mean, don't get me wrong, it was nice to see the vampire counts in action, but I was just a bit disappointed by the fact that it wasn't really anything that exciting, like this big deal that they were making, you know, the late nights streaming and everything. All it really just came down to, basically, was just playing the same battle three times and have the, um, and have the same adverts that we've seen for quite a while, Adverti you know, playing again and again, and it's just like, Really? This is why you you know you were making such a big deal about. I was more excited about seeing stuff like Ger Linehart and that. It was actually showing you gameplay mechanics. I mean, campaign mechanics for them as well as fighting. You know, it's just I'm so disappointed. They hasn't stopped me going out to buy it. I just wish they didn't make such a big deal about something they should. I felt they really had no need to make a big deal about. Okay, guys, let's quickly get into position. And let's see if you're going to be willing to use fire by rank this time around. Okay, you guys spread out a fair bit. I want you to be able to defend the artillery as much as you can. Artillery, switch over to cameras to shot. I have a feeling you're going to need this. Okay, you're gonna shoot. That's fine. You charge for my troops by all means. Just means you're gonna take more casualties in the end, man. Yeah, you think you can charge some bayonets into me and not to get shot at as a result? What the hell are you guys doing? Get back over here. Huh? You, you guys are somehow... Oh, God's sake. Get, get back here. Whose small idea was it to try and... There, get back into here. You guys, switch back and start shooting at these. Okay, maybe I should have switched to square formation. Come on, man, get back onto your cannons. What are you guys? Ugh. As much as I enjoy Empire Total War, sometimes it'll come up, it, all of a sudden, something like that will happen, and I think to myself, what the hell? Okay. Oh. Finally, they're now using fire by rank. Excellent. Okay, you guys, square formation. You guys, come down here. You guys, help out. Charge. Well, on the plus side, at least it, I, I got some of them remaining there. Okay, you guys, square formation as well. Okay, horsemen, get into formation. Attack! You guys come out square formation. 
Schuss auf Schild hin. Okay, switch back out. Okay, what's left? Group of Agadir scouts. Okay, men. Come down. Come down. Uh, over. Oh, God's sake, why aren't you... Okay, horsemen, get down here and deal with them. You guys, uh, try and get, form up around here. As much as you can over this rise. I can't move the artillery because they're simply... Just, some of them have been too badly thing to actually do anything. Uh, can I switch over to Cancer Shot and do some damage? Should produce something at least. Right, just fast forward us now, hopefully get the servant done with. Okay, that's them eliminated. Okay, on cannons, switch back and stop shooting. Enemy general has been killed. I think this will be a victory. Uh, let's just end the battle. Heroic victory. Fair enough. I'll find out in a second though if it is actually considered something I can consider a major victory or not. We'll to find out. I lost 310 men. Actually, that doesn't sound to me like a heroic victory in the slightest, but if they say so. Right. Uh, let's spend some money to start sorting this out. Hey. Start recruiting some more men. Uh, let's get some grenadiers. That would do. And then how's these looking? Okay, oh I can actually start taxing this now. Um. Ah. Tax. Right. Okay, it doesn't really make any difference about the villages. There's nothing new to develop here. Uh, you're being taxed already and there's nothing new to develop anyway. Foreign occupation 23. It's still got a little while to go before I can actually do anything with that. Ugh. Okay, you're recruiting some new ones for next turn. Did I get anything recruiting in Malta? No, I haven't yet. I could get access to the more... Morini Mori Dino oh, Lean. And Grenadiers. And ge recruit generals on spot as and when I want. That's interesting. Uh, we'll just Bastard get you to continue down there then in the meantime. Uh, you're all replenishing. Should hopefully get this done fairly soon. Uh, that's everything really I need to worry about. Uh, it's making 4,900 turn. Let's check out diplomatic relations and see if there's anything we can do. Uh, Still very friendly and friendly with the Ottomans and the Mokawa Empire. Uh, let's try and see if we can start sorting this out a bit. Can we request peace for you guys? No. Um, France, I'm not really that fussed about it. If I can skip past you so I can actually... Nope. I, I have a feeling that if I can actually cause some casualties among them, this might be useful. Um, what about you guys? No, you're only willing to do it if I give you Central Italy. That's not happening. I wonder if that's actually some the reason why I've got so many going against me because of the fact that I own this. I don't. I wouldn't think so, but because it, it's not like some of the other games out there. But you never know. Anyway, let's end the turn and see what happens next. Like I said I need to eliminate that Spanish army. Thing in the, uh, before it does any damage to the south. Oh, they've taken their fleet away. Interesting. Oh, and they're bringing a new army. 
Fuck's sake. Okay. <laughs> right, so they've got a second army that's on its way, no doubt being built up in Spain, thanks to the territories it owns. Uh... It seems like I'm a little bit stuck at the moment in terms of thing. I can't afford to move any of my troops out of northern Italy because they're both they're controlling their like, capitals. Unfortunately, I need to keep the thing under control. Suspicious death for Catholic missionary. That's expected. I'm surprised they lasted as long as he did, to be honest. Okay, so I just have to see what this uh, navy is going to do. Um, no, it's too powerful for me to try and attack with my own navy. Yeah, it's just we'll have the capability to take it out. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Uh, let's eliminate these guys now once and for all. Uh, let's just hold it resolve. Uh, I took a lot more men than I expected to, to be honest. Avanti! I think I'm getting them a corona. Okay, uh, what can I upgrade here, apparently? I can upgrade, and what does get me? Again, the great arsenal. I can get six pounders, howitzer, fit, howitzer artillery. Hmm, I've heard good things about howitzers. Some people swear by them, from my knowledge. And they allow me to shoot over enemy things. Hmm. Something to bear in mind, anyway. Okay, let's continue against some infantry now for here. Carboneers, I'm not too fussed about. Exploit infantry, no real difference as far as I'm concerned to line infantry. Just apart from they cost a little bit less. Fat. Is that really the only difference? 461370. Uh, huh. They actually don't uh, cost any different, really. They just. Uh, apart from them, have slightly less melee defense. But they also cost 100 cheaper. Hmm. Tell so you what, let's take two units of these and two units of these. That should hopefully get me done with that. And let me see, is it much worth me raising these up? Uh, I could get, get that back within 10 turns. I really want to take one of these armies out. In fact, this one's doing so well. Let me see, can I take this out? As if I can lead use this now to lead an attack against Spain, for example, and really, and just capture Madrid, then that would really knock them out in terms of their damage. In fact, then, and then head down to Morocco and head that way. But um, to be fair, my main target was actually to go for Paris, simply because, actually, Paris, Paris has got a hell of a garrison. I don't know if you can make it out properly there. It's pretty much a full stack as a garrison sitting in there. Wow. Uh, I've got Westphalia I need to deal with. I've got Spain up here. Uh, the Cherokee Nations, which are still here, funny enough. Oh, can I actually become allies with the Cherokee Nations? This are pretty friendly. Uh, can't cons ally with a friend of the enemy. Um, the thing with Westphalia. Okay, okay, I could... I could go up and deal with France, that would de steal quite a major blow to them and give me access into an Admiralty as well and great arsenals and all the fun stuff. Hmm. Okay, let's see what I can do I'm about taking... how much art can I take out from this army? Can I take the whole unit thing out? Yes! Oh, this is good. This is really good. Okay, let's take. Uh, can I take some of these? You guys. Senior out? Okay, we're gonna stick Al you instante. here for the moment. 
Uh, can I take some of my grenadiers out Avanti, without them causing in di altri public order problems? In in di so far so good. Pronti. In altri ordini. Okay, the pikemen. Do I want to keep the pikes? No, they're okay for the moment. Alright. In that case... Uh, the thing is, I'm a little bit thing now for what choices do I go for. If I go for France, that does give me a wide area, but on the other hand, it's also a big sort of territory that I could have troops landing from England, for example, and dealing with them up here. In fact, one second, Sweden. Can I actually get another... Sweden okay to talk to me? Uh... No, because you you are war your allies of France. Okay, well, okay. <clears throat> let me see. Oh, who's attacked this? Morocco. Have we captured Morocco? Oh, okay. Um, let me take you guys towards Spain then. If I capture Madrid and Gibraltar, and then Port uh no Port oh Portugal's already been captured. If I capture Spain, the con the sort of the main modern day country. I can then swing up then and do France, and then as long as Morocco's uh, happy to be in peace with me, that could be something. So let's start taking my army down there. We can be done, get there within two turns. That's good. This leaves me enough troops still up here, more or less, to be able to deal with any attacks from Austria. And I'd be able to... In fact, if I bring some of my troops up here just for the moment... Da sinistra! In marcha! Uh, you guys join up with the army now. Good. I'll tell you what, let's get that going. Or, let me see. Uh, mm. No, I'm, I'm surprisingly good. I The only issue I've got is that I don't know what that Sp Spanish army is going to be doing here. Uh, I have a feeling it is coming back down to uh, try and land some of its troops, probably at the port here. Um, in fact... Signore. Uh, Avanti, no, I'll keep you here, just see what they do. So let's end the turn one more time. I'm probably coming up to the end of the turn now. I actually, thanks to having to restart the computer and everything, I actually lost track of how long this recording is. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Uh, they got some militia coming in. Um, cavalry, line infantry, some six pounders. Okay, and I've got reinforcements of a unit of line infantry. So I've got two units of line infantry, a whole bunch of dragoons, and some pikemen. This could be an interesting battle. I will actually end the episode here, I think. I'll bring it up, I'll start it up in the next turn then. When, in the next episode, when we'll fight it off and see what we can do. Uh, they haven't got any decent troops. They've got militia, they've got provincial cavalry. Thing and a piece of artillery against two decent units of garrison line infantry, some good some dragoons. They're pretty accurate, and I want to get them into proper position, and some pikes as well, which can really make light work of the cavalry once I get them in range. Anyway, guys, but I'll leave it for here. Thank you for all your help so far. You three, you you know, you three have answered my questions. It's greatly appreciated. Otherwise, go out, enjoy your weekend, and oh, while I remember actually. Thing. Um, I know I've been bringing up about the Phoenix Rises and I was supposed to be starting up. I have recorded it. I have been started to do the editing and that, but I just haven't had time. But it will be out next week. I can promise you that. Next week it'll be out. So keep an eye out for that then. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.